what's up guys today we are going to be making an esp32 game project which involves a small esp32 c3 super mini lcd i square c display and four buttons which we are going to use to control the whole thing so let's begin firstly here are the components we have two small breadboards uh esp32 c3 super mini we have an i square c lcd and we have four push buttons that we are going to be using to control the eight games that we have or are going to have so firstly we are putting the esp on the board on the top board in the middle and currently we are placing the push buttons on the bottom breadboard so we are going to make them look just like a joystick four of them top bottom left and right and they are going to be used to control the menu and to control each of the games separately and just like that we finished placing the four push buttons and now we are going to be connecting them so firstly we are going to need to connect them all to ground and then all of them separately are going to connect to four digital pins which are going to be inputs and we are going to do that just now so firstly connecting the ground part and we are just going to connect them on a single wire so we don't have multiple wires for ground going to the ESP32 instead we just have one so we are currently placing the last one <coughs> and we are going to connect the ground at the end when we place the VCC so also placing the ground for the uh, LCD I square C display so that's the red wire right there and we are going to be placing now the output output for the bottom pin so that's the yellow wire just checking if all of them are pushing right and now we are going to be adding SDA and SCL so those are the two main wires for the I square C protocol including VCC and ground separately so that's what we are doing now firstly SDA and then uh, SCL so that's that for the I square C display and also adding the VCC making way for the wire to go and connecting it down and we are going to be connecting it to 3.3 volts and not 5 volts so that uh, you should be careful about that you will have the code in the description below for github and we are finishing with the wire for the i square c display the gray one was a vcc wire and next we are going to be adding the <coughs> we are going to be adding the ground pins i mean the ground wire for the push buttons and for the i square c display so that goes right there on the top green on the top green wire so it all connects to ground for push buttons and the i square c ground just on one wire instead of wasting space <coughs> and now we are connecting the output for the top pin and shortly after we are going to connect the remaining three wires so those are for the right bottom and left push buttons so firstly we are going to connect the bottom pin that goes on the bottom side pins of the esp 32 c 3 that's the red wire we are putting right there but 
it got bent so we are going to take it out and straighten it before putting putting it back in so just like that And now we are going to add the right pin, just putting it there, be careful with the wires not to mess something up or it could potentially fry your ESP32. And now the only thing remains is the left pin, so the output for the left pin. We are adding that right now. And the last thing to do for the whole project is to put the I square C display. So lining up the holes and putting the pins in. We are taking off the protection foam and we are going to be powering it up. So it powers up like that. And we can see that we have multiple games like Snake, Pac-Man, Helicopter, Froggo, Breakout, 2048, Flappy Bird. And we are playing Flappy Bird. So the, vi the video is sped up. So we are to get through this a lot faster. And game over for us. We have a lot of different games like Tetris, Snake. We're playing Snake now, so that's it for this video guys, for this ESP32 game project. Thank you for watching, link in description for the GitHub, and see you guys in another video. Bye bye.